team in the well, league. Well, you got you got Kevin De Bruyne back, so that's definitely a plus. A um, big one. That's a definitely a plus. And uh, oh, yeah. So yeah. the big the big question that's been out there, is, and it sort of became like a you know a hot take thing is, is he the best Premier League midfielder of all time? And that got into that discussion of who is the best Premier League midfielder of all time. And I know I know who I think there are, but it's so subjective. It's such a weird thing. It's, you know, in, in other sports and in other realms, we can very much go on just stats, right? If you just go on stats, it's Frank Lampard. He's got 200 goals, over 100 assists. It just is, right? Like, he's the stat accumulator. And he played in the Premier League from when he was 17 to 35. Frank Lampard, boom. Okay, but no one ever watched Frank Lampard and thought this is the best midfielder in world football ever. <laughs> you know, well, he was he was, more... he, he was very very much known worldwide. Yes, and I will say that Steven Gerrard is uh, better than Steven Gerrard is also Lampard. there. But but that's what I mean. It's it's Gerrard. It's Lampard. If you're someone who likes Vieira, if you're someone who likes uh, Skulls, uh, there's is different it... styles, definitely. There's different styles, right? And I think yeah. when it comes down to these types of things, and it's longevity and minutes and all this stuff, when it comes down to it, though, there is a feeling that you're the Don. And I think mm. that the reaction to De Bruyne going on and what you feel, this is a feel thing. This is not an objective stat thing. And, and, you know, I wish Will was here. He would give me the stats. He'll probably tell me that it's Luka Modric or something like that because of the yeah. stats. But in this case... You get the definite feel from the punditry, from the sort of world football, like this is a guy. He's the king. The king has returned, and he came and uh, said, the, the, not so fast. You know what I mean? You're, like, so, you're so pumped up with this with this Manchester City <laughs> crap. Listen, I get you. De Bruyne is good, but he's never – I never felt like, damn, De, I, 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 De Bruyne is not in my background. De Bruyne is okay. not in my background. Okay. You know, I got, I got Manchester City. You know who I got, Manchester City? That man, yeah, yeah, right there. Well, I mean, Yaya's Yaya there too. I mean, Yaya, Yaya, Yaya has man. those moments as well. But there is a transition. Yaya leaves and De Bruyne comes in. They do switch. Yeah. they played together but, for a little bit, but not most of their career. But I, I'm, I'm just saying. Look, I, I get it. he's he's probably one of he's one of the greats of Manchester City that we know that. Well, uh, I mean, but um, yes, for sure. <laughs> I mean, actually, and in, in, you know, I, I just don't know that he gives everybody this feeling. Now, I will say there was a lot of people. There was a lot of people that were certainly um, in agreement that you know that, that he's one of the best players in the Premier League. Some say the best uh, that he's come back. I've never seen uh, this, this this amount of twerking for one player for different. But let's. Uh, but let okay. But let's. But let, let, now we can go into the objective thing, right? In the Pep Guardiola era, there are a couple things that have to do. This is how I would structure the debate, right? Mm -hmm. They've won, they have two three-peats now, right? They have a two and five, and then a, they have two three in a row, and they might win four in a row, right? So they may end up being, arguably, they won the trouble, the best Premier League team ever. And in those five or six championships, Why? just hold on, hold on. If you go to the fact that the, this Manchester City team under Pep Guardiola since 2016 is the best Premier League team ever created, in terms of what they've won, how they've scored, how they've dominated, there has been one player who has been part of all those teams, and it's Kevin De Bruyne. So when you look back and you think about it historically, there will be one player that we think of for these teams, and it yeah. will be Kevin De Bruyne but or like, Rodri or the, the, you know, yeah, I don't so know who it will be, but it's I De Bruyne agree. to me. I could agree to the extent I could even argue with you about Man, about Man City because if you if you just do the 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 legend get, give Kun Aguero a little bit of legend love you could have kept him another year he could have, you could have, you would have gotten him to win all that and he would have been another player that was in those in that list so but okay I'll give you Kevin De Bruyne but because he's a Manchester City history but when you bring it into the whole Premier League and the world history, it's only thirty the Premier League's only thirty years right. It's well, no, like, no, no, like but no. See, got, this is nonsense. Don't Beckham, do this. Gascoigne. Don't do this. Don't do this. Don't do this Premier League. We're talking about English football. You know, I'm, I'm not doing this 92 on crap. Oh, I mean, the in same English damn football, league. it's it, you can go, you can go further. You can go Brian Robson. You can go. You can go. Skulls, uh, you, can go Beckham. you can go Kenny Beckham is Much better than De Bruyne. Who? Beckham. 
No, he's not. Yeah. Sorry. Oh my God, bro. <laughs> he can shoot better than De Bruyne. He can pass better than De Bruyne. No. And what? He can't shoot better than De Bruyne. I'm telling you that Maybe. David Beckham was not the athlete or player that Who Kevin cares De about was. athlete. Never, never, never did well, David Beckham come on and take over a game after being out for five months. He was already in the greatest team that was well, already there. They won well, with English, him. They won English without him. People, English people would say. Oh, they love him because he's good looking. He has a personality. Kevin no, De Bruyne it, looks like a pig. In, Literally. In, 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 <laughs> English people would say different because that Beckham goal that he scored when he was bald in, in, for England. Uh, he, I think he yeah, but we're not talking about team. England. That's different. Well, we're talking, but it's a team. It's a team. Is in English in English football, like Paul Scholes is better than the Bruyne. No, I can't. Come agree. on, man. I can't agree. Hey, Lorette, what are you doing, man? You, you're tripping right now. Listen, but look, nostalgia is cruel, right? Nostalgia is cruel. Everyone will say it's these certain players, blah 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 blah. I no, get but you it. Can't, you can't. But I am a prisoner of my team, and I am a prisoner of the moment. I will take Yaya, De Bruyne, and Fernandinho over any freaking trio that United can but, scrum up. Well, that's exactly because it's United. <laughs> it's, it's United players. But Frank I Lampard. I will take David Silva terrific. over Skulls any day of the week, twice on Sunday, and we will whoop that. I think. I think. I think that Steven, Steven Gerrard is the yeah. best midfielder. When you put everything together, as far as being the importance for the team, you can you can match that to De Bruyne's importance for Manchester City. Yeah. But you can't match the titles. He's won as many everything. Champions Leagues as anybody else. Uh, and I don't know what's going on with English people. Some mm -hmm. people, some pundits that say, well, Liverpool hadn't won anything in 30 years, so you can't talk crap. A title. What? They won a, the Champions League twice. Well, the, in the middle there. A Champions League. Listen, man. It's it's a Champions League, the, the most the, the most prestigious tournament in European club club wise. So yeah. they just disregard it because they they, I think they the, put their I think league the, higher. I think, I think the difficulty for Gerard is he was clearly in a team that was not up to his level. They needed him, and so his assist numbers are always going to be down because of all the goals that were not scored. I don't think there was a Liverpool team until that Suarez team that scored. 80 goals in a season or 70 goals in a season. Right. Whereas, you know, KDB is in a team that's scoring 110 goals, right? He's passing to Sané. He's passing to Aguero. He's passing to Raheem Sterling. Is he creating it? Are they finishing it? Yes. But who the hell? I mean, you know, the way that Rafa Benitez played, when they won the Champions League in 2005-06, Liverpool scored 55 goals. You can look it up. They did not score. So Gerard had to do everything for them. So he does get hampered by the fact that he was not in as a dynamic team. Yeah. So I get no, but it. I think, no, but I, I, I love think, him too. The up and down, the, but listen, the taking the Bruyne, from one side to the other. There's yeah, so many the, great players. The Bruyne is great. I'm not – listen, he's great, man. I'm not going to say nothing bad about the Bruyne. He just – he does look like a pig. And he does. He, <laughs> he looks like home – like, like um, dude, Kevin McAllister. Uh, you know? Yes, yes, yes. Uh, Macaulay yeah. Culkin. Yeah, Macaulay Culkin. But um, 